After serious clashes at the Indochina border, PM Modi has roared. But China is suddenly singing poems of peace. The violent face-off in the Galwan Valley of Ladakh between the Indian Army and the People's Liberation Army troops on Monday has shocked the entire nation and the world. There is growing resentment and outrage against the People's Republic of China. And now a powerful statement has come from Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. PM Modi has issued a strong, no-holds-barred warning to the dragon. He said, I want to assure the nation that the sacrifice made by our soldiers will not go in vain. India's integrity and sovereignty are supreme for us and no one can stop us from defending it. Nobody should have any iota of doubt about this. India wants peace, but on provocation, India will give a befitting reply. The Prime Minister went on. The country will be proud of the fact that our soldiers have died fighting. In his address, Prime Minister Modi made it clear that India is a peace-loving country, but when instigated, India is capable of giving a befitting reply, be it in any kind of situation. These are ominous signs for China because whenever PM Modi makes such tough statements about giving a befitting reply to the enemy forces, they are invariably followed by even tougher military action. Similar remarks were also made after the Uri terror attack in 2016 and later the para special forces troops of the Indian Army crossed the line of control, the effective Indo-Pakistan border and inflicted heavy casualties on the country's ISI-led terror network. Three years later, Pakistan orchestrated a dastardly suicide terror attack on the CRPF troopers in Pulwama. PM Modi vowed to take revenge and days later, the Indian Air Force fighter jets went into Pakistan's airspace and bombed jaish e muhammads terrorist training camps in Balakot, Pakistan. Five out of six bombs had hit the intended targets, causing heavy casualties. Ever since, the violent face-off between the Indian Army and the PLA troops caused heavy casualties on both sides. There have been reports of all three military services of India, the Indian Army, the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy being put on high alert. This is very much in line with what Prime Minister Modi said. According to Times of India, forces are almost on a war-like alert and sources say days of walk-in options for the People's Liberation Army are over. Top official sources have also been quoted as saying that India will now impose costs on China whenever it uses its favorite quote-unquote salami slicing tactics, that is the Chinese strategy of territorial expansion in the South China Sea and the Himalayas. This marks a paradigm shift in India's border management vis-a-vis -vis China. Beijing is likely to draw severe punishment because Prime Minister Modi never issues empty threats. Whenever he says befitting reply, it is followed by disproportionate damage on the adversary's side. Meanwhile, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar also talked in tough language with the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. An official statement from the Ministry of External Affairs read, the EAM underlined that this unprecedented development will have a serious impact on the bilateral relationship. The need of the hour was for the Chinese side to reassess its actions and take corrective steps. The two sides should scrupulously and sincerely implement the understanding that was reached by the senior commanders on the 6th of June. Lashing out at China during his telephonic conversation with the Chinese foreign minister, Jai Shankar also said what happened in Galwan was premeditated and a planned action by China which was responsible for the sequence of events. As PM Modi and the External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar spoke in tough language, a rattled Beijing has tried to calm tempers. The Chinese state media, which is an extension of the Communist Party of China, is singing poems of peace after hints of a befitting reply from India. The CCP mouthpiece Global Times, that functions as an informal Chinese foreign ministry office for making statements that the foreign ministry cannot make on its own, 
is suddenly speaking the language of Sino India cooperation with several stories and tweets written by the Chinese Foreign Ministry and published by the mouthpiece. Clearly looking to extend the olive branch to India. The mouthpiece tried to invoke people to people relations between the two countries and tweeted a video of Indian chefs from a Shanghai restaurant. The state media outlet tweeted Shanghai's Indian restaurants continue to serve customers from around the world. Multicultural customers enjoy their lunch in two Indian restaurants in downtown Shanghai on Wednesday with Indian chefs seen preparing delicious meals in the kitchen. Another tweet pinned its hopes on a peaceful resolution of the ongoing military confrontation and read, China-India border conflicts will likely see a soft landing despite the deadly clash on Monday as both countries have kept a clear mind to keep frictions in check as seen in their restrained statements and that their troops did not use guns. China is also trying to use the statement of netizens, the same netizens who have been kept isolated from the global internet community by China. The CCP mouthpiece tweeted, Chinese netizens call for restraint and reason in the wake of China-India border clash on Twitter. Yes, they call for restraint on Twitter, a microblogging platform which is banned in the People's Republic of China. After a round of indirect messages looking to hint at peace, the Chinese Foreign Ministry tabloid published an editorial that directly says, Border peace is the basis for healthy India-China ties. After a month of war commentary, the Chinese state media is now trying to talk peace and PM Modi's tough message is the driving factor behind the sudden change in Chinese perception and propaganda.